Hello. Welcome to Little Smiles Basic Six Online Tutorials. Today's tutorial is on English language. Strand four. Writing. Substrand six. Paragraph development. Indicator one. Choose appropriate ways of writing for a variety of purposes, audience and context, and organize facts, ideas, and or points of view in a way appropriate to the mode of delivering using appropriate text features. You are to choose appropriate ways of writing for a variety of purposes, audience and context, and organize facts, ideas, and or points of view in a way appropriate to the mode of delivery using appropriate text features. We are going to write paragraphs or develop paragraphs using appropriate text. Now, before we start, what is a paragraph? A paragraph is a short piece of composition. A paragraph is a short piece of composition. Before we develop a paragraph or write a paragraph, it has four, three main parts. And the three main parts are topic sentence, supporting sentences and a concluding sentence. So let's look at what a topic sentence is. Topic sentence, it tells the reader the main idea of what the paragraph will be about. It tells the main idea what you are writing about in the paragraph. That is what is stated in the topic sentence. Now, let's look at what supporting sentences are. Supporting sentence says the specific details about the main idea. Supporting sentences give specific details about the main idea. Everything that you write in the supporting sentence should talk about the main idea or should reflect on the main idea. Now, the supporting sentence is the main body of a paragraph. It is the main body of a paragraph. When you are writing a paragraph after your topic sentence, the supporting sentences are the main idea supporting the topic sentence. Supporting sentences are linked with transitions or connectives, such as firstly, next, also, lastly, additionally, etc. Supporting sentences can be more than four or five in a paragraph. And they are linked with connectives or transitions, such as firstly, secondly, in addition, more so, moreover, lastly, next, also, more so, etc. We have a whole lot of transitions. That links our supporting sentences together. We also have the concluding sentence. The concluding sentence. It summarizes the paragraph and retains the topic. Topic. You can also talk about your feelings. In the concluding sentence, it summarizes the topic sentence and you can also talk about your feelings. Now, to when you want to write a paragraph, there are ways that you or steps or things that you have to note. So let's look at some of the ways or how to write a paragraph. First, you have to indent. You have to indent. How do we indent when writing a paragraph? Assuming these are our line, you can indent using your two fingers on the line. So where the, the second finger ends, you start writing from there. So the space that you leave, the space that you leave is known as in 
indent, indentation. So in every paragraph, you have to indent. Two, begin every sentence and proper noun with a capital letter. You have to begin every sentence and proper nouns with capital letter. In our previous lesson, when we capitalization, we realized that all sentences begin with a capital letter and end with a full stop. And also, proper nouns begin with capital letter. Now, use a period or dot at the end of every sentence. Use a period or dot at the end of every sentence. Always end your sentences with a full stop. Always end your sentences with a full stop or a period. Do not bullet when writing your supporting sentences. When writing your supporting sentences, don't bullet them. But instead, use connectives or transitions to link them. Bulleting is when you use dots. To, for every supporting sentence, you are not supposed to bullet. Now, after writing, do evaluation of the paragraph. After writing everything, after writing your paragraph, do evaluation. And how do we evaluate? You evaluate by looking at the handwriting, capitalization, punctuation, spellings, and also look at the complete story that you have written to check whether what you have written is in order. Now, we have types of paragraphs. We have types of paragraphs. We have descriptive paragraph, narrative paragraph, persuasive paragraph, explanatory paragraph. Descriptive paragraph, narrative paragraph, Perspective paragraph and explanatory paragraph. Let's look at descriptive paragraph. Descriptive paragraphs describes something. For instance, my school, my friend, my best friend, my mother. All falls under descriptive paragraph. We have narrative paragraph. Giving an account of what you have witnessed. A visit to the school, a visit to the zoo, a visit to the hospital, all this falls under narrative paragraph. You narrate what you've seen, when you went there, what you saw. You also have persuasive paragraph. In persuasive paragraph, you try to convince the reader. Even though what you are writing is not true, you try to write to convince the one reading the paragraph. They also have explanatory paragraph. This one you give an explanatory or explanation of something that you have witnessed. For example, how to play ludo, how to play football. All these falls under explanatory paragraph. Now we are going to look at an example of a paragraph. This one is talking about the family. The family place that you visited. Now, I'm going to read, pay attention. My favorite place to go with my family is the beach. The first reason I love the beach is because I can search for seashells in the sand. Next, I enjoy building sand castles with my sister. Lastly, the best part about going to the beach is swimming in the salty water. Going to the beach is always a fun time when I am enjoying it with my family. With this paragraph, we are going to look for the topic sentence, the supporting sentences, and the concluding sentence, as well as the connectives or the transitions. Now, what is the topic sentence here? What is the paragraph talking about? It is talking about somebody's favorite beach. So the topic sentence here is my favorite beach. My favorite place to go with my family is the beach. 
That is the topic sentence. Now, we are going to look for the supporting or supporting sentences. But before, let's look for the connectives to lead us to the supporting sentences. The first connective is defense. The next connective is next. Then the last connective here is lastly. All these give or lead us to the main idea. So we have three supporting sentences here. So the first reason I love the beach is because I can search for seashells in the sun. This is the supporting sentence number one. Then let's look at the second supporting sentence. Next, I enjoy building some castles with my sister, with my sister. So this is the second supporting sentence. Then let's look for the third supporting sentence, which is lastly, the best part about going to the beach is swimming in the salty sea. So this is the third supporting sentence. So we have one, two, three. We have three supporting sentences here. Then the last sentence is the concluding sentence. The last sentence is the concluding sentence. Going to the beach is always a fun time when I am enjoying it with my family. This concluding sentence is expressing feelings. So this is, and this place is where the, they indented in the paragraph. This is where they indented in the paragraph. So with this paragraph, we have one topic sentence, three supporting sentences, and one concluding sentence. So children, below, I will upload this exercise below this tutorial, download and answer, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll meet again later. Bye-bye.